Okay. Can you repeat the riddle? Words you better the devil you know, they say. Then tell me, Anna, what do you know of the devil? Hmm. So tricky. Well, you better. Oh. I guess there's still something I'm missing. Huh. You sure want? What am I supposed to do, I wonder? Oh! There's a bunch of stuff here! That doesn't look like it's been clean since... since never. Put your hand in it. Most definitely not. Put your hand in it. This doesn't seem to work. Fine. A good old dirty dungeon grade mattress. Who knows what bugs are in it? I've had my share of mattress inspecting for the day, I think. Hmm. Lots of jumble. I don't really understand. Numbers and calculations and math stuff. Ah. Oh, yes. Just my curiosity exploring probabilities and such. They have a known mind. In the end, it's only guesswork. There's only so much I can see from inside these walls. Sadly. <laughs> You're, um, you're an, uh, you're an astronomer wizard, or a calculus wizard. I don't want to mess them up. This is the hole to myself. If it wasn't for this, I might never have met the wizard. Thanks, hole. You're welcome. No, I'm in here with the wizard now. No need for that anymore. Wow, these are so pretty. How did you do that? Well, uh, I have to follow the stars somehow. If I can't see them, I recreate them as best I can. Doesn't that kind of defeat the reason people follow stars? <laughs> Indeed. You have me there, child. Regardless, they do brighten up the place. I agree. Um, mister... Do you need this? Sorry? Oh, my dear. I'm in need of nothing material. Please keep what you can to help yourself. Um... Sorry. Okay, nothing that happens with that. Hello again. Greetings. Could you tell me the thief's story again? It might help me with the riddle. He has many guys, as you see. But uh, few have looked upon his hideous, true self. A man I once met. He saw it. He was a thief who broke into a great and wealthy mansion. He then hid in a cupboard until the midnight hour. Just before the time for the theft was right, he saw it through the keyhole. A sight most horrifying. An indescribable beast gorging itself on unidentifiable hunts yeah, okay. meat. This I see. He shook with fear. Be cautious, dear child. So what I the game wants me to do is... Thank you, Mr. Wizard. I will. It wants me to um, get the meat yeah. from this corner oh. and feed it to the goat. Ugh. Big, greasy piles of who knows what meat. I don't want to be too... My tongue... My tongue... Hmm. Excuse me. Do you mind if I take just a little of your... Uh... Dinner? Oh. Good gracious, please. Take them. Take them all. I am a vegetarian, you see. <laughs> the guards don't seem to understand that concept particularly well. Ah, oh, I see. I think one will do for now. Unidentifiable piece of meat. Ugh. Big creep. Can I get the wizard a melon? I think he'd appreciate a melon. Okay, fine. I'm sure the wizard can feed himself. Oops. Uh, wrong way. This way. The gallows. Then the, then the utility closet. And then we feed the goat. This unidentifiable piece of meat.
<laughs> that was ominous. Okay, did that do anything? I have no idea. If it let me answer the riddle now. There's one thing I've learned about you at least. That riddle about knowing you, well, there's one thing I've learned about you at least. Might I be able to interest you in this suspicious piece of greasy leg meat here? Yellow. <laughs> I leave it here and be gone with you now. Return later. I have business to attend to. Business? But Hey, didn't I solve one of the riddles? Close, but not close enough, I'm afraid. Be gone! Oh, how rude. How am I supposed to see him eating when he shuts me out like this? This dude's looking like he just hangs out in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. He's got that constipated look on him. Oh, I got it. That's what the windows are for. Uh, I want to. I sure wanted it to be known that this would. Uh, it's a bit high, but I don't think it matters anyway. These windows are dark, kind of tinted. I'm not seeing anything through them. Really? Huh. Uh, I want to Can I look through the door? Uh. Nope. Aha! Just like the wizard story. The keyhole. Okay. Slide through the light of the keyhole, the devil eating. Let's see what we can see. Oh boy, Anna. What do you think you're gonna see, huh? Hmm. Well, it sure is a nice way to spy on him, but unless the answer to his riddle is that he likes to sit by the fire and relax, I'm not seeing much. Oh, okay. I have to get new meat, I think. And then inspire the ski hole. Aha! Just like the wizard's story. Through the light of the keyhole, the devil eating. Let's see what we can see. Hmm. I think. I think I see something this time. Something seems. different. Brace yourselves. Yep, there we go. That's a exactly. different reaction than I realized. You've looked upon me eating and you're excited? Of course I am. I did it. I solved one of your riddles. I do know the devil after all. And now I'm one step closer to saving my grandpa again. You're an interesting girl, Anna. An interesting girl indeed. Very well. You have solved the riddle, as you say. You looked upon me. No more needs to be said. That's it. I've done everything you asked of me, and I have the papers for my release. See? You... you stole them. There's no other way. Yes. You told me to bring you the papers, and that's what I've done. Impressive. Even I can say as much. You have done well indeed. However, you have yet to convince me of your innocence, in case you have forgotten. 
Dang. Hey, you said a deal's a deal. You said you'd let me go. Oh? I'm not sure I recall ever saying your unproven innocence was negated. Do you? Trickster. Uh, one chance, that's all you get. In failing this, you would have had two fair trials, and I will have no choice but to sentence you, imprison you, for the rest of your days. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, I believe I understand, sir. <laughs> Good. Good. Proceed. Huh. It's the same thing again. Okay. It's kind of hard to take him seriously with the meat on his face, but... I'm gonna try. I didn't do anything wrong. All I've ever done is try and help people. I didn't do anything wrong. Couldn't have been dragging. Stealing from shopkeepers, imprisoning elderly women. That's not true. I set out to save Grandpa, but I stopped to help people wherever I could. I stopped those witches to help Ben and Hansel. Ah. And I'd do it again if it meant saving them. So the, her answers changed because the wizard told her to believe in herself. Yeah. You did help people. That's why you imprisoned those elderly women. <laughs> and kidnapping the dragon was more um, sa rescuing the dragon that was already kidnapped in the first place and we did return it to its mother you were expecting me? getting here wasn't easy nothing has been and now, now I've been arrested for trying to save my grandpa but Anna every time you try to do good I think you seem to happen yeah I was upset at myself. I thought I let Grandpa down, but now I know it's silly to feel sorry for what's happened. I... I will never give up on him. Not now, not ever. Hmm. You have to let me go, because I have to stop Winfrieda. She's a trickster. An evil witch with wicked, evil plans. Perhaps. But a queen to be, nonetheless, and one you sought to dethrone. Furthermore, she deceived you. You trusted her, but she betrayed your trust. Haven't you been a little too trusty? Mm -hmm. No, you're wrong. I... I have faith in people. Even if... even if they are rude, or mean, or selfish, there is always good, somewhere inside. You think you can talk your way out of your actions, hmm? And this good and evil dribble. Just look at all the misguided trust you've had. The world is mean, Anna. Evil, vain, selfish. Your grandfather knows as much. He hid you from it, protected you. But now you've seen it, and now you know. Sometimes, sometimes even Grandpa isn't right about everything. The world isn't mean. It's not selfish or vain. It's big and broad and full of different, interesting people. The world is good. It's just that sometimes, sometimes that good is forgotten. So all people need is a little faith in them. No matter how bad they are, you just need to look for it. And win free to us. You know what? Yes. Yes, even Winfrieda. If I ever hope to have her reverse Grandpa's curse, then I have to believe it. Anna, you said you had others to add to these release papers. Wait. Really? Really? Yes, yes. Let me see. The Wizard of Bondehorn. The Gardener. Uh... The Mama Bear. Papa Bear, and the Baby Bear. Ah, yes, the man in the gallows. I'm not sure what his name is, but he's still down there. So <laughs> be it. You and your friends. You all have your freedom. But heed my warning. Okay. You cannot defeat Winfrieda. It is not in you to do so. And she will overpower you without hesitation. 
You walk out of this dungeon to your own assured demise. I... I have to. That's the try. I have to try. Against all the odds, in the place where none resided, the brave young girl had found hope. The warnings were given, the danger made clear, yet still Anna pressed on to that castle all the same. But deep within, evil plans were becoming realized. A dangerous power lurked real. Confrontation loomed, the whole truth to be realized. But only one would survive on that sad, fearful night. Hmm. There we go. determined to get here quickly hmm. but uh, I had no idea how quickly you forget I was running all over the countryside with that flower of yours <laughs> oh, whoops uh. I'm still curious though Reynard all the others were happy to part ways after we all left the dungeon yes well I have my reasons to follow nevertheless I shall go no further into these grounds, but pray tell, my dear, what do you plan to do from here? This is quite a delicate situation you find yourself in. Yes, yes it is. I think stopping Winfried by becoming queen is the most important thing. Indeed. Who knows what might occur once Winfried steals that position of power? Your grandfather's curse, though? That will come in time. I have one idea, but first I want to look for the missing queen. According to the wizard, only she can stop Winfried peacefully. So, so for now, Yannicka. I think the best thing to do is search for clues. She was last in this very castle. There has to be some trace of where she went in here. Indeed. The chances are perhaps high. However, in failing that... Failing that, then... then... I guess I'll have to be the one to... Never mind, my dear. Let us do our very best in finding our lost queen, shall we? Exactly. Sit tight, Reynard. I'll let you know if I find anything. It's a bit of a mystery. First following me to the dungeon, and now here. I have a sneaking suspicion he sees an advantage for himself in the long run for all his efforts. Hmm. Not right now. I've got to get going to the castle. Well, we already found the wizard. It's just thick woods from here out, but not a lot else. I've seen more than enough of those forests. Got to stay focused on the castle now. Telekinesis. No! That one looks different. It looks kind of... broken. Gimme! No. Telekinesis! Mm. Boop! Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh cool, a murder weapon. It's from the castle wall, so it's super sharp for keeping people out. Unless that person is me. Gimme. Okay. But the royal family really are set on keeping people out, huh? Are common folk really that bad? I'm common folk. All I want to do is stop the royal wedding. <laughs> Climbing over isn't really a doable option. The wall's much too high for that. Hey, it's you guys. Halt! That's far enough. Hold on a minute. Is it that the girl we arrested? Yes. Good grief, I believe you're right. It's that Abba lass. No, no, Abby it was. Abby and Bjorn. 
Oh, you're quite right, Bob. Quite right. Hold on another minute. Didn't we put you in the dungeon? Well, uh, yes, but I was pardoned. I was allowed out. I swear. No need for profanity. That's quite all right. I would believe it to be the only way out of that place, after all. Hmm. Halt! All members on the wedding guest list have arrived and are inside. Therefore, no further attendees will be accepted. Okay. Guest list? Wedding. <gasps> the wedding! It's today? I have to go through, please. I, I have to get in there, right now. Oh, ho, ho. nothing like a spirit and lass excited about seeing the wedding. But no, not possible. Not getting in, sorry. No, you don't understand. I have even less time than I realized. Nonsense! You have plenty of time to find the right man, have your own special day, and <laughs> all that hurrah. I wish I could see the wedding too. It did look ever so beautiful. Uh, the throne room did. A oh, grown man, Bob. For heaven's sake. Come now, we've talked about this. Alright. I'm obviously not getting through here. I need to find another way in, and fast. Ooh, posters. Am I hearing digging? We have hay bales like this on our farm. Only quite a bit smaller. If only they were easier to climb, I could get up to that broken bit in the wall. If only indeed. Climbing this is a bit beyond me, I think. It's too steep. I can't get the ropes off with my hands, either. They are tied super tight. I'll need something else to help me get them off. Ah, the spade. Using it here is a little unnecessary, I think. Okay, hang on. For the royal fam, I'm common for climbing over. Ooh, posters. Oh, interesting. Jaroff. On this? Mm, I'm not sure about that. Give me the poster. I'm hurt. Edward wants to scream. Another artist. Another artist. Oh, just a bunch of credits. <laughs> yeah, I think it's cycling through. Yep. And I got an achievement. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I did make a nice ramp to that wall now, but uh, this telekinesis, after all this time, it's still hard to control. Am I in over my head here? Hmm. Ah, uh, jeez. The wall is way too high to climb over from here. Now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Hello. Hold on. Is that? I think it is. He looks pretty important and rich looking. And he has a crown. It must be. It's the king. I wonder. Should I tell him now? Warn him about Winfrieda? Ah. There and... Hmm. But wait, I shouldn't even be up here though. Maybe I'll just get thrown straight back into the dungeon. No, bad idea, Anna. What to do, what to do. What, what, what? Where, where, where? Where is, oh, aha. And, and, hmm, there, aha. Yes, there it is. Phew. Oh, there he goes. Mm, nothing like a stroll in the gardens, I do say. I do say I do feel so muddled up these days. But <sighs> this fresh air does me good. Does me good, I say. What with the wedding today? Well, I do love her, don't I? I feel like I do, but it's all so fast. Hmm. Oh, I'm so muddled. Everything feels so... Strange, unfamiliar, poppycock. I won't be sad on my wedding day. 
I should do what makes me happy. And if there's one thing I'm certain of, it's that I love my garden. Oh, what the heck? One more time. Oh, he's counting the fruits in the tree. The idea was good, but Anna's arms were too short. The idea was good, but Anna's arms were too short. Sudden narrator voice out of nowhere, I guess. Strange kind of fruit. I guess it's some kind of special royal fruit or something. The last line of defense between the royal family and, well, everyone really. We are all bad though. It's way too high to climb down that side. Looks like we'll need another plan. I don't think my power will help me here. The biggest tree here by far must be the park's main attraction. As fun as that tree would be to climb, this is not the time for that. It looks quite deep in thought. Let's go through that head of his. But wait, I shouldn't even be up here though. Maybe I'll just get thrown straight back into the dungeon. Okay, so don't talk to the king yet. It's way too... So I have to do something with this tree? Maybe not on the tree. It looks a little strong for that. Ah, the fruit then. Okay. And they're gonna stop guarding the entrance, right? So, I think this is it here, sir. By gosh, it is! Well done, my man. Well done. Search is over, everyone. Search over. Ah, good. Sounds like it's safe to look again. Did you find any evidence then? Any clue as to the manner of deviancy involved in this crime? Yes, sir, I believe the guilty body here might be gravity, sir. And, well, the fruit being right, too, so... Hmm... I do not like it, but you might be right. We all must ripen and fall to the ground one day. Very well. Name your reward, good man. You have done well. Oh? So, sir, being in your service is a reward enough, sir. Ah, uh, only... Well, since you ask, I... I do so want to see a wedding procession, and... Well, the throne room this morning looked ever so splendid, sir. Oh, doesn't it? I chose all the flower arrangements myself. <laughs> sir, the palettes of color on display could be described as heavenly. They touched my soul, sir. Oh, you are too kind, too kind. Come, it is time for us to make our way to the throne room. Yeah, good for you. Alright, so we can go back, and the guard should be gone now, right? Oh, the sound of digging was their armor moving. These are the guys that I... they were only doing their jobs though. I suppose I forgive them. And so, Reynard... Yes, my dear? How am I even getting inside the castle? These guards are persistent. And bossy, and not willing to listen. How am I even getting inside the castle? I'm afraid I don't have the same ease of access I had in the dungeons. My level of assistance is reduced to suggestion. As such, might I suggest this? Split the two apart from each other somehow. Trickery is made easier with less eyes, you see. Ah, okay, just talk to him now. Not really, but I guess some kind of plan is better than no plan.
Thanks, Reynard. Thanks, Reynard. This wedding isn't stopping itself, though. Indeed, my dear. Best of luck. I'll be here, as you know. Oh, the spear. That seems to be rather unwieldy for a guard's weapon. Nonsense! It's a halting spear! Perfect for situations that require me to halt people. Halt! That's far enough. Telekinesis! Mm -hmm. ah. There. <laughs> that should hopefully hold enough. <laughs> halt! Curse this confounded gate! How can I halt people without my halting spear? <laughs> um, look. I'll just have a quick look around, okay? No, that's not okay! Uh, only I could... halt you? <laughs> I mean, he just let go of the spear, but okay. <laughs> what a little cutie. Look, he's cute, but let's not push it. Telekinesis! I should try using my power for something else, I think. Okay, fine. Oh, we have a nice little one like this at the back of our corner. As soon as I get back, I'm going for a swing on my rope swing into it. That's... If I get back, I don't want to be too wreck. There's a bunch of things I can check out here. Not right now. I've got to get going to the castle. I have a window into one of the castle's many, many rooms. This one doesn't seem to lead into anywhere useful, though. A window into one... A window into I can't see inside from here. I don't have any reason to think this one is particularly interesting. Hmm. It seems I can't reach that. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, no. Not really in a swimming kind of mood, thanks. A window into this one doesn't. A window. Okay, no more useful for any of these windows. A window into I can't see inside. Then let's walk in the front door. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> and who might you be? Oh, hi there. I'm afraid there isn't any time to explain, you see. I. Shh, 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 shh! Who are you? What is your purpose here? This is a royal wedding. Royal? No one but the finest of the realm are to be present. So pray tell, how is it that a peasant girl such as yourself is here? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I know I'm supposed to answer the third one. I'm gonna try all three, starting with the first. I'm one of Winfrieda's bridesmaids, of course. I'm one of Winfrieda's bridesmaids, of course. A bridesmaid? Young girl, the queen to be has no invited guests. <laughs> Period. There simply are no bridesmaids. No bridesmaids at all? But, but. Someone has to carry the rings, or, or the flowers. The flower girl? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Me. Flower girl has arrived. It's about time. Where the devil have you been? Uh, anyway, I'm here now, so let's go inside, shall we? Wait, 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 wait. To rest like that? Hey, this is my favorite dress. Maybe it's a little dirty with all this traveling, but still. This is a wedding room. Not some tea party in your favorite party dress. You need a gown fit for the king and queen. And that's not to mention that footwear. Hey, what's wrong with my shoes? And wait, 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 wait. Where are your flowers? What is a flower girl without flowers? Ah, right. Flowers. I was just on my way to the garden to grab some, actually. No, 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 no. That garden has no flowers fit for this position. They must be absolutely the most pristine of flowers. The best? Only the best. No foot of yours will step inside that wedding reception with anything less. Interesting. Dilly -dally. Now let's move to the main hall. Come on. Up, up. <sighs> This all sounds a bit problematic, but hey, 
I got inside the castle at least. This should buy me some time to look into Yannicka's disappearance. And I guess if it comes down to it, it's a way into the wedding to stop Winfried and myself. I'm gonna try to stream for a bit. Just could use it again, love. Won't be long or interesting, I'm sure, so I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, go stream, Miss Napalm. Enjoy your stream. I'm just gonna be here. Uh, I just found a way into, you know, the point of click adventure proper, so. What's the point of click adventure without five different fetch quests, right? <laughs> Good lord, there are so many rooms. Finds it strange that the decorations here are little naked people. Yeah, it is weird. They seem to be doing their jobs fine without me interfering. I mean, I don't think I should. No. I don't think I should mess with any of the. They seem to be doing. I mean, I'm not sure. Okay, so castle entrance, cellar. Hello. Are well, you the dressmaker? You looking for the wedding, little one? You're a little lost if you are. Oh, hello. No, no, I'm not lost. Just having a look around. <laughs> Curious little thing, aren't you? Well, my name's Cindy, but I'm afraid you won't find much down here. Just a bunch of suet and unfinished clothes. Perfect. That's okay. And my name's Anna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Anna. I'd best get back to my work. But you just let me know if there's anything you need. Could I have one of these unfinished clothes? Cindy's such a gentle, lovely lady. She deserves better than this dark, dirty room. Um, sorry to bother you, Cindy. Not at all, Anna. What can I help you with? Is it possible we meet borrow a dress? These dresses are really pretty. Are these for the wedding? Well, aren't you just the sweetest for saying so? Yes, that they are. The reception has already begun, though, and there's still so many left to be tailored. Oh. In one day? Is it possible for me to borrow a dress? Oh, I'd love to, Anna, but, well, these garments are all reserved by guests of the wedding, I'm afraid. Yeah, I figured. Will you be going to the wedding? Will you be going to the wedding, Cindy? Oh, Anna, aren't you truly the sweetest thing? But no, I'm a servant here, you see. And between you and me, I've snuck out before to attend a ball, and it's not really my kind of thing. You mean, you prefer being a servant Cinderella. Out here? Well, it's an improvement, but no. No, my heart belongs somewhere else entirely, sad to say. But you needn't worry about that. Let's discuss something else, shall we? This ball you attended, did something bad happen? You could say that. I only went because I was offered a dress and shoes, and so I figured why not. Next thing I know, I was being proposed to by some prince before I even knew his name. <laughs> Cinderella. Why? But then, you don't have the dress and shoes still? Oh, no. I had to give the dress back, I'm afraid. And the shoes? Well, those are missing, actually. I couldn't get away from the prince fast enough and dropped a shoe somewhere in my escape. The other, I'm not sure. I couldn't find it. It should be somewhere in the castle, though. Oh, but you said they were offered to you? By who? Oh, well, that's a secret. Hmm. Promise you won't tell another soul, Anna. Pinky promise. The great old tree in the royal garden. Inside it lives a special kind of spirit. Oh. Ooh. One day I was sitting under it, minding my own business, and almost as a jest, I wistfully asked, Shiver and quiver, my little tree, silver and gold throw down over me. And just like that, she appeared, with a gown and shoes for me, no less. That's incredible! A dress giving tree spirit, huh? I'd better get going. Thanks, Cindy. No trouble at all. See you around, Anna. So much hush now, but all you little ones rush now. 
Into the middle of nowhere Singing your life to the time Dreamless sleep Follows the lonely Hello I talk to the maid first before I take anything. Maybe it's just me, but I get the feeling she doesn't like me being around here too much. Whatever gave you that idea? Hello there. Hi. What? What is it? What do you want? What are you cooking there? It smells pretty good. Swap. Uh, sorry. Swap? Swap. Well, hmm. at least you're honest, I guess. I would be cooking proper food still if we could run dry of all our meat. Wedding dish this, wedding dish that. Sure, I cook it all with my imaginary See? ingredients. Now I'm just mixing vegetables. This is no way to eat it away. Actually, I've heard that you can have quite a healthy, balanced diet if you only eat. Oh, so you're the cook now, are ya? Wanna take over? No, no. That's okay. Keep up the good work. <laughs> what was that about the meat? What was that about the meat? I would be cooking proper food oh. still if we could run dry of all our meat. Wedding dish is now. Actually, oh, no. Okay. So I have to get the cook more meat. That's a pretty little bird you have there. That's my pretty little bird. Don't you be getting any ideas now. Was given to me specially by Queen Yannicka. Said it would help me feel more relaxed. Oh, how sweet of her. Did it work? You tell me. Oh, uh, hmm. Huh. <laughs> sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. Not as sorry as I am. He sounds like John Cusack. They're making all the heat for the cooking. This doesn't seem to work. Sing, sing, nightingale. Oh, pretty little bird. How sweet. Tweetily, tweet, tweet. That's my pretty little... Don't you touch my bird, girl. Not even for a little pet? Not even. Scoot away from it. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, 